Want to head to Scotiabank Theatre and CTV's Andrea, Andrea Case. Case. Hey, Andrea. Oh. Go ahead. No, no, no. Take it I away. I jumped the gun there, Nathan. I was so excited. I jumped the gun. Look who I have. Oh, I'm a little excited. I have... My What's that your name? Your My name is Ryan. Ryan and Reynolds. Hi, I'm here. And uh, what brings you to Toronto, fellas? Well, we're here for the Canadian premiere of uh, Deadpool and Wolverine. Yeah. And... Yeah, apparently you can just walk in. You don't even have to buy a ticket, so yeah. we're here to see it. Yeah. Well, apparently you didn't just walk in, because a couple of years ago you made the announcement online that Hugh Jackman was going to come back to life as Wolverine. Why did you two have to make this movie? Well, I, for us, both of us, it was a dream to make this movie since day one, really. And, you know, he announced he was <laughs> done playing Logan, and then three days later, Deadpool came out. And kidding. Yeah, I was kidding. Like, oh, no. And everyone was like, no, no take backs. And then he was like, no, no take backs. <laughs> no. Uh, incredible film, I will say, even though I'm not a reviewer, I'm just a news reporter. Music plays such a big part in this film. You're both music men. You've done a musical. You have done musicals. No, 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 no. There's a difference. Really? Really? There's a big difference here. I was yeah, in a musical. He is musical. That's a very, they're very different things. How important was music to this film? Uh, it has always been in all the Deadpool movies. Actually, put the mic here because he's really knows what he's no, talking I about. No, I mean, Deadpool's driven. The right the, when we're writing the script, it's driven by music a lot of the time. I mean, uh, Free Guy is a, a movie that Sean and I did. The first movie we did, and the whole thing was led by Mariah Carey's fantasy. And then this one, I've had Madonna's "Like a Prayer" in my head for six years. Uh, for a specific sequence that's in the movie that people will see soon. Um, and uh, that dream came true uh, on this movie. So I actually got to, you know, have, the, have that song in the film. But music is everything. I mean, you work off of a playlist of, you know, about 150 songs, and you're always looking for the perfect song for the perfect moment, and this movie's sort of chock full of them. They're going to pull you away. The costume, you're in the costume. You talk to people on the street. They are losing their minds. Yeah. Uh, I'm losing my mind. But I can't believe for 24 years I didn't put on the yellow and blue. And, and one of the first things Orion said when I said I want to do the movie, he goes, we've got to do Yellow and Blue. And I was like, all right. As soon as I put it on, it just made, it all made sense. I, and now I can't, I actually sleep in the costume. Yeah. The second thing I said was, make sure you steal the costume at the end of the and movie. I did. And he did. Yeah. Gentlemen, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank You've you. got to move on. I'm Andrea Case. I think we're going to a commercial. We'll have, oh. Bye, Canada. Bye. I mean, hello. I'm, I'm from here, so. We're gone. Yeah. See you later. Thank you. Hi, thank you, Hi, thank you very much.